now to our special Race Matters. Tonight, an exclusive look at a new study showing how law, a law intended to save people's lives is being used by law enforcement to target blacks in Florida. The ACLU research on seatbelt citations is scheduled to be released tomorrow, but CBS 4's Jim DeFeedy got a hold of an advanced copy. The study by the American Civil Liberties Union found that blacks were stopped and cited for seatbelt offenses nearly two times more often than whites in Florida. They were stopped and cited two times more often by the Broward County Sheriff's Office and three times more often by the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office. What that does is raise a red flag that racial profiling may be infecting the enforcement of Florida's safety belt law. Nusra Chaudhary is a staff attorney with the ACLU Racial Justice Program based in New York. We should be concerned when any community is being over-ticketed. In 2009, the Florida legislature gave police officers the authority to stop a car because the driver wasn't wearing a seatbelt. At the time, civil rights groups worried police would use the law as a way to stop black drivers they otherwise wouldn't be able to pull over. CBS4 News reviewed the numbers gathered by the State Department of Highway Safety and found some interesting disparities as well. In 2014, the Fort Lauderdale Police Department issued 809 seatbelt tickets, with 539 going to black drivers. And in Miami Shores, there were 261 seatbelt citations issued, with 186 going to blacks. Targeting blacks for traffic stops stigmatizes that community, Judery said, and causes them to be distrustful of the police. It also financially punishes poorer communities with fines. This can lead to cycles of ticketing, driver's license suspensions for not being able to pay fines, subsequent tickets, more fines, and even jail. And in some cases, the outcomes can even be more serious. And even routine traffic stops can escalate and lead to the use of force or arrest and even deadly force. The ACLU is calling on departments to increase training on racial bias. We should note the ACLU study found no significant racial disparity by a Miami-Dade Police Department for seatbelt citations. I'm Jim DeFeedy, CBS4 News Tonight.